Hello everybody and welcome. It is me, Atlas here from Wildfire, and I'm here with another episode of Tea Talk with you guys. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this episode might be highly themed. 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 Yes, I am going to do an episode talking about the new Pokemon game, which is coming out in uh, November time. November 2016, I think, for you, for um, Europe. I'm going to take this off because I'm boiling. But this is my Pikachu hat, which is beautiful. So, let's get talking. Firstly, let's get my tea. That's the most important thing of the episode. Sadly, I don't have a Pikachu or Pokemon mug, so you've had to go with the unicorn today. Majestic AF. Um, so, welcome, welcome. This is the tea talk. We shall talk and drink tea and talk about various things. So, I have been a Pokemon fan for most of my life. Um, seeing as it's Pokemon's 20th anniversary this year, um, and I've been alive for 25 years, so I remember having Blue was my first one. God, what is this hair doing today? So, yeah, I started on Pokemon Blue, um, and I've had one of the games every, ever since, um, from various ones. I think I had Blue, then, uh, Silver, then, uh, Emerald, then Pearl, then whatever the hell ones come next. There are so many I can't even remember them anymore. But yes, Pokemon Sun and Moon is coming out in November. It's the seventh generation of Pokemon now, I think. Um, there was a lot of stipulation about whether this was going to be a full, like, new generation. Um, because Nintendo kind of trolled and were like, oh, there's going to be at least ten new Pokemon. But obviously we've already seen three new starters, which I'll talk about in a second, um, and at least one legendary, so that already already makes up the ten um, with their evolutions, because obviously they'll have three, like, every starter. So, yes, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, a lot of people were hating the name, but I'm kind of liking it. I like the theme, it's kind of cool. Um, and it's, yeah, based in a new region um, called Alola, which is a lot like Aloha because it's very much themed around an island. Um, there's a picture of it online. I will try and find a picture and put it up here somewhere for you guys. But um, yeah, so it's based around kind of like a Hawaiian themed island. Um, that's at least one of the locations. Um, there's a lot of people talking about whether this year, because it being the 20th anniversary, they'll do a, like a kind of big game where it's like a revisit of other regions like they did with um, uh, gold and silver? I think it was gold and silver, where you would go back and do the other gyms um, after you'd complete your first lot. Which was really cool, I really like that. Um, they also did it on Emerald. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping they do bring that back. And they were saying about possibly bringing back a lot of characters from the animes and things like that. So maybe we'll meet Pikachu, um, or uh, Jesse and James, um, a lot of the old gym leaders. So that could be really cool. Um, again, a bit of a different theme, so it's a bit more summery, a bit more kind of uh, tropical compared to what it's been before. There's lots of volcanoes on the island, things like that. It's very much like Hawaii, so that's really cool. Um, there's obviously three new starters. We've got our standard, our grass Pokemon, our fire Pokemon, our water Pokemon. Not sure if they're going to be dual types yet. I don't know if they will be myself. They kind of look mildly like they're not going to be, but could be. Who knows the Pokemon these days? You've got Rowlet, um, who is the grass Pokemon. He is a little owl. He's very cute, um, and a lot of people are liking him. Um, he's got a new move so far that we've not seen in Pokemon before, called Leafage, or Leafage. Answer on a postcard, how are you going to pronounce that? Um, but yeah, he looks really cool, so it'll be interesting to see where his evolutions go, because at the moment we've only seen our first starter Pokemon. Um, the fire type is called Litten. And I absolutely love this Pokemon. It is the cutest thing ever. It's a little fire cat. Um, and it's got little stripes. I'll try and insert photos. But it is so adorable. Um, and also a great name. Litten. I love that. Um, so yeah, he'll be the fire type. And so far, it seems, from all the things I've read, he's the most popular starter so far. I personally think he's my favourite so far. Um, but hey, you shouldn't base it on the first evolution. Because everyone hated, like... Cyndaquil, um, Froakie from the last one, everyone was like, oh, Froakie's so hideous, but then now all of a sudden he's like everyone's favourite, so 
what are you going to do? Um, and last, but not least, everyone is saying least because they seem to have some big massive of hate for him, but there is a little seal Pokemon uh, called Poplio, um, and he is, yeah, got a little clown thing going on, he's a little seal with little seal ears, or a sea lion, he might be a sea lion, you know, but yeah, he's got a little pink nose, um, I think he's adorable, but everyone, yeah, is like kind of hating on him a lot, which is really sad, poor Poplio. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, that's the three starters that we've seen so far. So it'll be interesting to see where they go to. I'm thinking, secretly, I think Poplio is going to have the coolest last evolution. I think, personally, that's what we're gonna, what, that's, I'm going to say that right now. Um, but yeah, eventually we'll see that kind of come through and we'll see more of those come on. Um, another Pokemon has been announced. It's uh, Magirna, I think it's pronounced, or Magir... Megiria? No, it's Megiria, who um, was released in a Japanese uh, comic um, a couple months ago now, I think, actually. Um, he's going to be in the, or she, I should say, she's going to be in the new film, um, and she's a man-made Pokemon. She's kind of got loads of gears and, like, clockwork pieces. So, she's one of the new legendaries. Not the main legendaries, but one of the, like, secret ones. So, she's going to be play a big part in the game. Um, and we also have the two cover legendaries revealed, but we don't know any names yet. So there is a big kind of white and orange uh, lion Pokemon, which is the um, legendary for Sun. Um, types, don't know yet. I would imagine probably fire. They're probably be dual types, so something else, maybe fire and steel. Um, then there's also a bat Pokemon for moon, which is, I'm not a big fan of. I'm, um, mm, looks a bit weird. So I think I'm going to go Sun, but we'll see. Yeah, so there's this big bat Pokemon. Um, not sure what type that will be. Probably flying, maybe something else, maybe, I, I don't know. They often go Fairy or like Steel for their legendaries at the moment. But um, yeah, so far the graphics looks really cool. It's very different. Um, it's really progressed a lot when you think back to like Pokemon Blue and Gold and Ruby and Sapphire. Like... There's a lot of change. It's now mostly kind of 3D side on or like varying angles, um, and it's uh, they've reintroduced Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Trainer customization, which I'm really happy about because I love that about um, previous ones. I think it was Diamond and Pearl where you could customize, um, but yeah, it looks really good graphics. Um, it's re only released on 3DS. I think you can only get on 3DS. Um, which is, I think it makes it their first one that's officially 3DS. But yeah, it looks really cool. Um, there hasn't been a lot else revealed about it. it they've been quite secretive about it. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, so November time, it comes out in Europe. Um, I'm sure it'll be a really big thing. Like I said, this year in general has been their 20th anniversary, so I'm sure it's going to be a really big thing. Um... One thing they've also announced is that um, uh, you'll be able to transfer from older games if you have it on your 3DS. So, like, if you've bought the Pokemon Blue or uh, whatever, or Sapphire or whatever, if you've bought it on the online store and played it on your 3DS, you can transfer between. I think you're still going to have to pay for it per year, which I kind of feel a bit dodgy about, but... We'll go with it. We'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, so you'll be able to do that. I think there's also talk that there's going to be no Mega Evolutions this time, which was something that was introduced in the last um, two games, I think. Two games now? Maybe just one? I think two. But um, yeah, so there's going to be, I think, no Mega Evolutions, which is, cut, or, well, I would say maybe probably no new Mega Evolutions, because I think that was been and done, black and white. They've done it. It's been there, done that. Pretty cool concept, but maybe a bit too difficult. So yeah, they're going to move away from that. Um, but yes, it does look really good. I'm very excited for it. Um, and I thought I should just talk to you guys about it for a bit. So yeah, please feel free to comment below and let me know what team you are. Are you Team Litten? Are you Team Poplio? Are you Team Rowlet? Please let me know, because I want to know. I want to know who is supporting poor little Poplio. Bless him, little sea lion. Why does everyone hate him so much? I think it's quite adorable, but yeah. So let me know. Put any comments in the in the down there, and let me know um, what you think. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. That'd be really useful. Subscribe to my channel, I should say. Can't talk today. 
um, give this video a thumbs up and I can do more when more is introduced. Um, I hope it's been a bit informative. I know it won't have been a very long video, but we'll just have a little talk, you know? So yeah, please feel free to subscribe um, and visit again and we'll have more videos for you in the future. Um, soon I will be going to Comic Con, so that will probably be one of the next videos coming up. Uh, very excited for that. Hope to see some of you guys there. Um, yes, and that shall be about it. So, yes, goodbye. Have a nice day. I'll speak to you later. Bye!